President Mangagwa returned home last night from Dubai, United Arab Emirates, UAE, where he officiated and led resounding celebrations of Zimbabwe's National Day at Expo 2020 Dubai. During his three-day visit which had a packed schedule, the president met His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who is the vice president and prime minister of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of the Emirate of Dubai, where the two exchanged notes on cooperation in the areas of mining and agriculture. The focus of my meeting with the prime minister was to further cooperation, where captains of industry from the UAE are looking for opportunities. I was able to explain opportunities in mining and agriculture and the incentives we are giving in such areas," he told the Emirates news agency, the UAE official news agency, before his departure yesterday afternoon. Asked about the significance of his visit and the Zimbabwe National Day, the president said it was important for Zimbabwe to be afforded a chance to showcase opportunities for cooperation and investment. At the exhibition, you are able to learn what other countries are doing, and they are also able to learn what opportunities exist in your country. Dot on trade between Zimbabwe and the UAE, President Nangagwa highlighted that trade between the two countries was US $1.4 billion in 2020 and after two years it has jumped to US $1.6 billion. Trade between the two countries has been growing fast and above that we have a close relationship," he said. In 2019, President Nangagwa paid a three-day state visit to the UAE, but on the second day he had to cut short his visit after Cyclone Idai hit the country with devastating effect, causing over 300 deaths and massive destruction to property. But I am happy that when Cyclone Idai hit us, the UAE sent two planes with loads of material assistance, which went a long way in mitigating the effects of the cyclone. Dot the Zimbabwean leader, who has upped his engagement and re-engagement crusade as part of his drive to grow Zimbabwe's economy also held two interactive sessions with the Zimbabwe diaspora community living in UAE and international business leaders. The Business Leaders Forum was organized by the Zimbabwe Investment and Development Agency, ZETA, where testimonials by business leaders gave a thumbs up to the Second Republic's efforts in creating a conducive environment for investment. The president was welcomed at the Robert Mugabe International Airport by Vice President Constantino Chuenga, service chiefs and senior government officials. Bing it, 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 bing it